Winter Haven. Winter Haven, Florida, home of the devil. Other cities you can do it, we can do it better. Polk County finest, yeah, come and find us. Other schools running, yeah, you running right behind us. We on, like a light switch. Hello, my name is Gina Williams and I'm the principal of Winter Haven High School. Welcome to the home of the Blue Devils. I would like to give you information because this is our virtual orientation. We will have temperature checks throughout campus. Uh, we will have different classrooms randomly selected to be temperature checked each morning. Uh, we also, custodians have uh, different sanitizing times that they have to come through and sanitize the desk and also the water fountains. There will be signage throughout campus letting students know how they are to walk on campus. The inside stairwells will be used for only going downstairs and the outside stairwells are only to be used to go upstairs to the second floor. The cafeteria, the students will enter from the patio. We have two sets of doors. They'll come in those two sets of doors. We have two lines. We also have lines on the floor which shows students where they are to stand to be socially distanced apart. Also, they will sit three to a table, all face in the same direction, but they will be separated. They will also be allowed to eat outside, but they will also be distanced from each other. For classrooms, we will do our best to distance them as far apart as we can, and we are moving extra furniture out of the rooms in order to make this happen. All students and staff are required to wear a mask at all times on campus. The only exception would be physical education when they are outside. And we will base this on the district's code of conduct and what their policies are for wearing masks. ID badges are also to be worn throughout the school day, anytime on campus. We will have those available if they are a student and they had their yearbook picture taken. We actually have an ID for them if they were our student last year, and we're gonna give those to their first period teachers. As far as instruction, uh, the first couple of days of school, the teachers will train the students and let them know how they are to access their online Schoology um, for face-to-face -face students and also e-learning students so we're prepared for virtual learning. School supplies, the first week of school, I would only worry about sending them with paper and pencil or pens and their teachers will let them know what they need if they need anything additional than paper and pencil. The dress code is still in place. Um, of course, wear IDs, but the only addition is the mask. They do have to have shirts with sleeves. All skirts and shorts must be to the knees, whether you're a boy or a girl. And uh, all holes have to be to the knee or below. We don't want to see any skin above the knee. If you have a hole but it does not show skin, hopefully there's a covering, then uh, we're not worried about that. But we do not want to see skin above the knee. No, 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 no. Y'all got to get back in. Good morning, girls. Have a nice day. Have you. Welcome. <laughs> On orientation, um, well, the first day of school, your, your schedules should be available to you online uh, through your student portal. We also ask if you are a parent that you make sure you go into Parent Portal and that you check uh, emails that you would like to receive emails. Therefore, you will be able to receive your child's report card, I believe, through this email address. Room numbers, uh, just to familiarize yourself with our campus, each um, building is numbered and the building number is posted on the building. And of course, our building numbers are 1, 4, 5, 6, 21, 25, 26, 
33, 34, 35, 36. The next number is either going to be a one or a two. One means you're downstairs and two means you're upstairs, but the first number is always the building number and that's going to give you a, uh, a good idea of which way to go. Uh, the drop-off and pickup areas would be in front of 34. Uh, so if you're dropping off your student, you can uh, turn in from Avenue K by the baseball field and you will circle around 34 and drop off your student or pick up your student in front of 34. The other area would be in front of the gym. Parking, if you uh, need your parking decal, you would need to email Gina Sia or call Gina Sia to set up an appointment time in order to receive your parking decal. You will need your driver's license and you need your vehicle registration form and also uh, your ID. Office, um, all meetings are scheduled by appointment only and for the first, my understanding is nine weeks of school, all conferences are only done virtually. So um, you would have to call and schedule those appointments. At least that's the information I have so far. Communication, we do show our Blue Devil television program during fifth period every day and majority of our information is given through BDTV. A lot of times there will be um, a link on Facebook or the website. Um, I'm also, um, sometimes we'll send out information through Remind from time to time but we do, they do have their programs on YouTube. We also ask that you join my uh, Remind page. You would text 81010. If you're an underclassman in the message box, you would type in the at symbol. It would be at W-H-H-S-U-N, as in Nancy. If you're a senior in the message box, you type at B, as in boy, H6B6B. Therefore, you will receive messages from me that I feel that are important to you. And also for seniors, those are specific messages for our seniors. E-learning students cannot be on campus during the school day. Our e-learning students need to be logged onto the computer during the time in which you are scheduled. So if you are scheduled for a class, first block from 707 to 837, then you have to be online from 707 to 837 with your teacher. And how do you access this information? You'll go to the Polk County Public Schools website, you click on students, then class link, you will sign into class link and you will find an icon for Schoology. If you uh, do not know your username or password, please email Damian Jones, one of our assistant principals at damian.jones at polk-fl.net. Once you're signed into ClassLink, like I said, your Schoology icon will be there and you will access all classes through that Schoology icon. And I believe I've covered most everything. If there's something that I haven't covered and you still need more information, please do not hesitate to call the main office at 291-5330. Thank you and welcome to Winter Haven High School. And we really miss you guys, mostly those of you who were here with us last year. I haven't met our new ninth graders yet, but just know that we all miss you. The whole staff here at Winter Haven High School has missed you greatly and we can't wait to see you again.